Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you issue tracking and milestones in GitLab CE. Now, issues and milestones are a great way to keep track of all of the issues that are going on with your site and attach them to various release schedules. So let's get started on that right now. Okay, so now that we've gone over some of the tools that are allowed and administrative stuff, let's go ahead and talk about just sort of what milestones, issues, and stuff like that we now have available within GitLab. So let's go and head back to the home, and I'm going to select the just administrator test project that we have here. And you'll notice we have one single commit, one branch, and no tags, no change log, no license, none of this stuff. But what we do have is if we head over to our sidebar, you can see we have an issue. And we also have a milestone. Now a milestone is just this release candidate and you can see it doesn't have a whole ton of information if we select it. We can see that it has 24 days remaining before a deadline. Uh, it has one issue, one open, zero closed, no merge requests, just one participant which is myself and no labels. Now what's great about these milestones is that we don't have to head to issues and then attach an issue to this milestone. Directly from here, we can just create a new issue and it's automatically having it set to be uh, attached to this release candidate. So I can simply just say, fix bug where app doesn't work. Uh, stuff is broken. Obviously, you'll want better messages than this. But as you can see, we have a nice little edit screen here. You can see it in preview. The reason why is because we have access to Markdown. Uh, let me have a space here. There we go. You can see that we have access to this in Markdown. And it's creating our issues just like what we'd expect. So you can even get some Markdown tips down here. Uh, Steph is broken. And we can say tilde stuff working. Okay, so nothing crazy here. If you're used to Markdown before, this should all be sort of standard fare. But it's nice that we have this in our issue queue that we can quickly and easily write Markdown without having to do any configuration. And if you want, if you want to do this in like a big full screen environment, you can do this in full screen and make this your full priority writing this issue. Not a huge feature, but definitely something that's pretty cool here. And now we can come down and select an assignee. I'm going to assign this to myself. So you can just click assign me. However, if I wanted to assign it to Courtney, I could assign it to her as well just by selecting her from this drop down. Now she's not going to be fixing this. So I'll leave this as me. And you'll notice we have no labels. Now this is going to be a bug and I would like this to have a label. So let's click create a new label. What's great about this is it opens it up in a new tab. So we can assign this a color by selecting red and then we can say bug. Um, we could say bugs are broken stuff. This description doesn't show up unless you're checking out what bug is. Um, if you need more sort of descriptors for a tag or a label itself. What's cool about it is they have all these default colors that are going to look nice, but if you don't want any of these just select it and you have access to a full color wheel. Let's say we want this to just be a little bit more subtle of a red. Let's come in here, something like this, not so saturated. Perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and click create label. Okay, so we now have this bug label that looks just like this. We can delete it, you can subscribe to those bugs, whatever. Now the only bummer here is, is that if we come back to our issue, it still says we have no labels, which isn't ideal. Obviously you'd want this to auto update when you actually have one, but it's no big deal. And you could even move this to a different project from this screen if you wanted. But since we're already in a milestone of this particular project, we can just click submit issue. And you can see we now have this issue. Now the issue page is really super nice because not only can you leave comments on it, you can upvote, downvote issues, you can add emoji reactions, but let's say this is, you know, something that's near and dear to my heart, I can add a heart, give it a thumbs up, and now all of a sudden, uh, anybody looking at this is going to say, hey, this issue seems like it's a little bit more important 
we can click edit here and let's scroll down and now we can add our bug label save changes and you see that we now have this update that says administer added the bug label you can come in here and say uh, needs more code has a issue we can click comment you can see the administrator has listed this on the branch you'll notice it says master because that's the branch that this issue is on if this was going to be on a different branch you could always select new branch here and what it does is actually created a branch for us uh, it created a branch that is basically based off of this issue and from here you could have a merge request you could pull this particular branch and you could get going on that issue itself so let's head back to our issues you'll notice on this screen we can see now that this issue has three comments one upvote and it was created by the master or the administrator and it has the broken stuff bug tag right here we can see just by hovering over that you know so basically we have a bug where stuff doesn't work now from here you could actually say uh, let's go ahead and change the status to close and then update issue or we could come in here and simply uh, come down and add a new comment we could say I added the code and wrote comment and close issue so now the issue has been closed and the comment is here i mean all of this stuff should seem like pretty standard fare if you're used to github but it's nice to know that a system like this has this baked in so easily now you can see it has closed if we head back to issues we only have one open issue two in all one in closed we can come now to our milestones and see something new and fancy we now are 50 percent complete for the release candidate and that's awesome uh, because uh, we have this nice visual indicator. You can create all these different issues and bugs and features and all sorts of stuff for your projects. And you're going to have a nice visual indicator where you are for different milestones or releases. So if you have a ton of issues, this gets really nice because you can filter by milestones. You can filter by labels. You can filter by assignee or author. You can even filter by name by searching up here. And you can even check it out. If we open this in a new tab, we have an XML field feed of the issues so I mean this is all really super nice and, and like I said this is your own system so you can do anything you want with this you can build this however you want you can assign whatever you want to people either way this is milestones and issues within GitLab this is a great way to track all of your issues and like I said if you're used to using issue trackers on other things this should seem like standard fare but it's nice that there's a lot of great handy features in here so as always this is Scott with level up tutorials if you have any questions or comments leave a comment in the video hit me at Twitter or Facebook. If you want to get these videos before they're released, become a pro at leveluptuts.com or store.leveluptutorials.com and sign up to be a pro. Get early access to streaming all of them or if subscriptions are your thing, you can purchase this series outright right now to download. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.